Hi guys, welcome back to Tim's Electronics Lab. And today I'm going to show you how to reflash this Sonoff Smart Wi-Fi switch. So um, we first start by taking it apart. And to do that you need to loosen uh, those four screws that are holding the uh, wire holder plates um, together with the unit. So let's do that real quick. Now remove them and you won't need them soon. Now the um, switch should come apart fairly easy but if it doesn't you uh, might need to uh, give a flathead screwdriver uh, a try. Just insert it into the sides like this and twist it and it comes apart. And I don't need this one so there you go. This is the switch and as you uh, might be able to see this chip over here this is the Wi-Fi chip and that is actually an ESP8266 so today we are going to reflash that and put our own firmware on it so we can uh, yeah we can control this switch basically and in order to do that we need a few things one is a header a 5 pin header the second one is a USB to serial converter and the third one are 5 male to female um, jumper wires so we can connect the serial adapter to the header later on while programming so first we need to solder uh, this header uh, onto the um, switch and to be uh, exact onto let me grab my tweezers uh, those five pins adjust my focus they go we need to solder it on those five pins and later on I will um, give a, a pin uh, uh, pin mapping for those five pins so that will be a, a good one so um, now I'm not sure how I'm going to hold these things while sorting I think I'm going to remove the solder first that's already on it and then um, actually resolder the header insert the header once again and oh I've bent some of the pins so after you you removed all the previous solder that was uh, uh, on the board when you got it uh, you can insert the uh, header the five pin header and make sure to properly remove all the solder because if you don't, um, some headers will um, not go through the board as you're seeing right now. Uh, and that is going to be a little a problem later on. Since some things might not connect properly then. But as you can see, my uh, pin headers came through. All of them. The one is a little low, but it, it is uh, it came true. So, yeah, that's no problem. So now we are going to um, actually solder the header to the board. Um, so, and the nice thing is, is that my soldering iron has already warmed up. So, just give a tiny bit of solder on there. And now we can move the board around. I'd like to do this one as well. So, and this one. And then this one. And then this one, like that. And just like that, you've got a soldered uh, son of uh, program header. And we're actually done with the soldering iron right now. 
So now it's time to connect uh, all the wires together. Uh, you'll be using four um, header or four pins, um, but uh, just solder the five pin header um, onto the board. So I don't know what the fifth pin is, but if you ever use it, um, then you uh, won't have to uh, resolder that last header again, because it's going to get a, a real pain to solder that again. So just connect the uh, headers like that and it's important to uh, place your board with the button up and then the brown wire or the top wire uh, as you can see here uh, goes to the uh, VCC port of the serial programmer now it's very important to uh, triple check that your uh, program is actually set to 3.3 volts instead of 5 volts because if you uh, left it on 5 then the whole circuit will just blow up and you got to buy a new uh, son of so uh, VCC that's uh, this pin and then uh, we've got to connect the red wire to that is the RX to the TX and the TX is located one pin above VCC like that now we've got to connect the orange wire to the pin above the TX wire, no, yeah, to the pin above the TX wire, and that's that. And now we've got to connect one final pin, and that is the yellow wire, and that is the ground wire. And we've connect, got to connect it to the most uh, bottommost pin, and this pin should left should be left floating. So. Now we are going to move on to the computer to actually program the uh, the solve. To get it into program mode, you need to hold down this button, the button on the sonoff, like that, and insert a USB, and now it should be in program mode. And now we upload the sketch. It should upload. Yes, there you go. That's nice. That's very nice. There you go. So as you can see, the thing is uploading right now. And it's uploading my own custom firmware onto the ESP8266. And when it's done, it should start flashing uh, the LED. Which I hope it does. Because I don't know if I've used the correct pin. And I don't think I did use the correct pin. But hey, yeah, we are here to learn. So let's put it back to 7. And uh, let built in 7. And uh, let's hold the upload button. And again, insert power when the whilst you hold the, uh, the button. And now it should be in uh, programming mode. Thanks for watching this video, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, make sure to leave a comment down below. You can also share this video with your friends if you think they will like it too. See you next time.